हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा देसाई एंड लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म वी हैव टू फाइंड द लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ टी स्क्वायर साइन ए टी सो वी ऑलरेडी नो द लेप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइन ए टी दैट इज ए डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर Now there is a small concept of multiplication by t, uh, multiplication by t power, and you can say in a better way. So that is, if you know that the Laplace transform of f of t is f bar s, then you can easily find Laplace transform of t power n, f of t. t power n f of t then as you can say t power n is multiplied so remember this n so minus 1 power n if n is there so n a derivative with respect to s of what of this f bar s which is the laplace transform which we have Fine. Now, here in the current question, we have t square being multiplied. That means n value is two. So, if I wish to find Laplace of t square sine a t, so that will be minus one power two, and the second derivative. of what of a divided by s square plus a square so in this obviously minus 1 power 2 is 1 only so we don't have to bother about that and here we can use the quotient rule or why quotient rule we can write this in a better way as Uh, we can take a out if possible because that is a constant s square plus a square power minus 1 now we can use the power rule which says power will come in front and power will decrease by minus 1 in the same step and by the chain rule derivative of s square is 2s derivative of a square is 0 this was the first derivative okay so what i have to do is i have to additionally wait i will have to additionally differentiate it once more uh, what is i am doing so i will have to differentiate it once more so d by ds this is just the one time differentiation which gave us this thing okay now we'll have to differentiate it once more so again the constant thing which is minus a can come out we have to find d by ds of s square plus a square power minus 2 that can now be written i can also take 2 out so this 2s can 2 uh, can come out and i am left with s divided by s square plus a square whole square so this is i can use the quotient rule power whatever is in denominator that square so power will now become 
denominator as it is derivative of numerator so derivative of s with respect to s is 1 minus sign in the middle now denominator as numerator as it is sorry derivative of uh, denominator so derivative of denominator is first of all by power rule and then the derivative of s square plus a square will give you 2s let's move ahead so on simplification we can say this is s power 4 plus a power 4 plus 2 a square s square okay and 2 to 4 4 s square multiplied by s square so minus 4 s power 4 and again 4 s square multiplied by a square 4 s square a square so as I can see this now becomes uh, 4 s power, s power 4 minus so minus 3 s power 4 plus a power 4 minus 2 a square s square s square plus a square power 4 we can't do much with this if you wish you can take uh, the negative sign inside and a also inside if you want leave that 2a just take negative sign inside so you'll get s 3s power 4 plus 2a square s square minus a power 4 divided by s square plus a square power 4. This is what the Laplace transform we got for t square sin e t. So again, whenever you multiply by t power n, you have to do minus 1 power n and the nth derivative of whatever Laplace transform you got for whatever you are multiplying with powers of t. Okay, That's how easy it is. Yeah, you will have to use some time quotient rule uh, once or twice so that you can manage up. Thanks for watching.